and good evening and welcome to Just Ladies. I am your host, Angie Mlai, and today I have none other than the beautiful, and I am not lying to you. She is <laughs> amazing. She is beautiful. Her work is, I oh my gosh, I will let her do the talking. I am going to welcome Miss Piera. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> welcome to my show. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. I've been looking forward to coming here. I know. Yeah. Me, first of all, even before I ask you questions, mm -hmm. your style, girl. Your style is always <laughs> on point. I have not seen a picture on the internet or anywhere that you just don't look nice. So tell me, what inspires your style? First and foremost, pictures on the internet should never lie to you. We tried, we put all those filters, we try to look good. You really? should see me when I'm not on Instagram. I look terrible. We should do the, then the, do, do one of those challenges, like the no, no makeup. No. I have. You I have, have, but they still look good. No, no, do, do more than, 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 than four or three. Do, do like no, 20. Like, honestly, like I've done so many, like when I go for trips, like road trips, mm -hmm. I just don't, like I, I'm not a makeup person. Really? Apart from the lipstick, I got no makeup. Wow. Okay, okay but then, that means I you're naturally makeup. beautiful. Thank you so much. Even when I do those challenges, I don't look so bad. Nah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're but like, like my hair is short, like mm -hmm. inside, apart is, from is the wig. This is not my hair, it's a wig. We all try to look really? good. My, sh my hair is short. Ah. Ah, it's a short cut. It's a short, short, short hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you look very beautiful. Though, Thank you. I must so, say. so, so, so. So tell me about this style today. Do you have, like, uh, is it like themed based or is it like. Because no, I see this black, no, white, really. and red. You know, and when we were doing research, mm -hmm. and when I watched your show, mm -hmm. my manager oh. was like, oh, by the way, Piera, the host is so hot, <laughs> so you're going to look good. So I was like, eh, okay. But so. then can I tell you something? You have, you have actually won the colors of our TV station. It's black, white, and red. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You see, please thank my manager. She's as good. She does her <laughs> research very well. I can tell Imagine that. She's like, she needs a promotion. And though. please wear your Prada. <laughs> but these are Pradas. Really? Thank you very much. Like wow. original Pradas. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is that is Prada. That's right one there. thing I like to do. I like to brag a lot. Yeah. Because it's my money. She 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 deserves <laughs> the bragging rights. She does. She does. Anyway, you know what? I would never buy it. It's just expensive, but I just got it as a gift. Oh wow. It's I like your friends. Can we share you? them? I, I, I can. <laughs> so I've invited you for my birthday, so you yes. can. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah it's her birthday. Very much. Don't ask me how old I'm turning. Yes, how old are you turning? Because I already know how old you're turning, but oh. I know people want to know how old you're turning. So yeah. tell the age, tell the age. Because I know you're very proud. Like, one of the women who I know is very proud of their age. Like, there's so many women, when you ask them even in interviews, how old are you? Uh, mm -mm. Like, never mind. But you, like, all mm. the other interviews I've seen oh, you, you only, you only see your age. So tell us you're turning the big. <coughs> 24. Say, <laughs> plus 10. Plus 10. 34. I'm telling 34. Why I'm don't so you so look, excited. I have a question. Why don't you look that age? Like your skin. I, I mean, you're flawless. Are you serious? My skin is terrible. Especially what? right now, it's terrible. Like, because I've been trying to. You know how many girls lot? feel like bitching you? Like, you they hit their skin. Your no. skin is gorgeous. Uh, you know what? You're the first person to tell me that. My manager keeps telling me, drink water, <laughs> drink water all the time. Drink. Uh. <laughs> So do you drink I, water? I do, especially mm -hmm. now with my manager, she's always like on my head, like drink water, drink water. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's one thing that's helping a little. Do you exercise? Because the body. Yes, Girl. I do. <laughs> you like me. You like I me. like you. Like you. Me. I, I am I like do. a fan. <laughs> I'm always like a mother. She's like, what is she no. doing? What did she go? Are what did she do? I'm actually <laughs> about to start a 90 day uh, on my Instagram, mm -hmm. 90 day workout yeah. with my girls. Like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell people this is the time we work out and yeah. then we work out together. Because people are always like, oh, cool. your body looks so good. You what do, do. you do? Mm -hmm. So I, I need to, I, I just want to tell people what I do. So yeah. we try together and see how it works. Mm -hmm. But one thing I always do, I drink a lot of water, especially before meals. Oh, okay. But I eat, mm -hmm. I don't starve myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get some to get anorexic. So I <laughs> drink water and then yeah. I and then, you then eat. I eat, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I work out a lot. Oh, okay. I, I, I work out. Yeah. That helps. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the basics. Mm -hmm. Who is Piera McKenna? Mm -hmm. Piera is this um, little village girl. Oh, really? Yes, I was brought oh. up in the village. Really? Meru, yeah. Wow. Okay. I, I grew up in Meru. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to school in Meru. I went to high school in Meru. Wow. Okay. Uh, I picked up my my school. <laughs> like that's why they discovered that I had talent. Uh huh. Uh, that was in my primary school and my church. I used to do a lot of drama in church and all yeah. that. And then I was taken to primary school. Uh -huh. And from that, that's when I, I, I discovered I can do like choral verses, solo verses, and I, I could do them and do them in French as well. Wow. Like so I you could you cram an French? entire whatever. Ah, je parle un peu français. Like, hey, mm. well, well, <laughs> well, it's, it's okay. That's the only <laughs> line I know. I will teach it to you that you can harass people. I like know. Someone tells you they're like, ah, je parle un peu français. That means I can speak a little French. Ah. But no, I don't speak French, but mm -hmm. I studied two years in okay. school but um i could cram things like i could cram a solo verse in mm. french and i wow. go and narrate it and i go all the way to national school to wow. national uh festival mm -hmm. 
so that's when I discovered I had talent and then I went to high school mm -hmm. from there now everything just propelled like I could go to uh, national festivals and I become I get the best actress actress best uh, overall mm -hmm. best soloist best mm -hmm. dancer all those things mm -hmm. and that's when now KBC discovered me when yeah. nation did um, a feature about me oh. I was hardly 17 I was actually 16 mm -hmm. so they did a feature on me mm -hmm. and then um, KBC looked for me wow. and they gave me a show so okay. in Mitchell from my last paper at home science, mm -hmm. I don't even, whatever, I, you know, we walked out, you know, feeling free. I'm yeah. like, I'm done in school. The principal called me, she was like, oh, we have some good news. Mm -hmm. Guys from KBC are here to oh, see you. Wow. So I went to see them. Mm -hmm. And I remember Derek, Derek Asato used to play yes. Master Sugu in um, yes, Taos. Yeah. He was one of the guys who came to look for me, so it hurts my life that he's not here. Yeah. So... Uh, I went, talked to them, and they were like, oh, we, have, we want you in Tausi, we would like you to, we, we have a role for you. Mm -hmm. uh, super excited. Yeah. A village girl so your in first, Nairobi. So your first show was Tausi? I did Tausi, but it, it got scrapped off, and then I did Kisulisuli, which is what came immediately after they, they premiered Kisulisuli. Mm -hmm. So I got a main character in Tausi, in Kisulisuli. Mm -hmm. My character in Tausi was quite, not big, but it yeah. was like, it was it what gave me yeah. like, that, that limelight. Mm -hmm. And then um, it was super exciting for me to come to, to the city. I mean, every time I used to visit the city, it was like the lights. I mean, it was super exciting for me because yeah. I never used to live here. I used to have friends who come to Nairobi, who live in Nairobi, and they come, you know, oh, as guys live in Buru, as guys live in whatever. It was exciting for me. So for me yeah. to come, mm -hmm. it was a challenge for me. And my dad was like, my, my folks were like, actually, we, you have our blessings, go. Mm. So you, when, when you were that young, you came here, who did you stay with? You stayed with I yourself? I stayed with my auntie for oh, the okay. first, uh, uh, like, one year mm -hmm. when I turned 18. Mm -hmm. But then I, I, I had enrolled in a school, mm -hmm. Kenya uh, Mass Communication. Okay. So I did mass I was actually going to be a pediatrician. I was going to do medicine. Really? But now, because of excitement of being in a media house and seeing, meeting all these people, yeah. Fred Obach Machoka, yeah. John Karani, mm -hmm. Jeff Mangemi. <laughs> it was super exciting. I was like, yeah, why, why, why not? Let yeah. me do, let me do, do this. do mass communication. Yeah, so I joined and then I, I became a Buddha in school. Oh, okay. So that's how I managed my life. It was, it was not easy. Yeah. But Staying away from home, I can imagine. Ah, my parents just told me one thing. Mm -hmm. Pierre, you got our blessings. Go. But remember, 99% of the world you're going to meet, all of yeah. them have HIV. So you go. <laughs> okay. I used to see a man I run. Let me tell you, that oh. thing put fear in me. Oh, no. But I always thank God because my dad told me that. Because mm -hmm. right now, I could have been something else, to yeah. be honest with you. Because yeah. I was so excited meeting all these celebrities. Yeah. And all Actually, of them... I ha let me ask you. You know, coming from a village mm. and then you come now to, to the city, that by itself is really challenging. Drama, yeah. And then now you come over here and then this, this you're now actually on the limelight. Yes. So you have the challenge of the city and then you yes. have the challenge of actually being famous. Yes. So how did you manage that? I mean, It was it's terrible. It was <laughs> terrible. And yeah. then... I don't know if guys think uh, you're, you're naive. So everybody wants to hit on you. Everybody wants to have a piece of you because you're naive yeah. or whatever it is. But those words just kept ringing in my mind all the time. Like, mm -hmm. if I look at someone, I was like, HIV, HIV, <laughs> HIV. I never, for lack of a better word, patted my legs until yeah. I cleared campus, wow. until I cleared, I got my first job mm -hmm. and I was, what was having my own job? whatever. Uh, Actually, KBC was my first job because I used yeah. to earn a lot of money, which is so strange. <laughs> like, seriously, okay, right now it's not a lot of money. But, but then you, it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And then my parents never thought it, it's a lot of money. So they kept telling me, you know, you keep your little money. Yeah. You know, dress yourself, do your stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was in 2000. I used to earn about 40 Gs. That was a lot of money then. I know. like <laughs> you should Especially have, your, your, and plus you're young. Yeah, and my parents <laughs> are still paying for me stuff. They yeah. thought it's little. So I never told them how much I used to get. Mm -hmm. So if you come to my room mm -hmm. in KMC... <laughs> I used to have a doorbell. That's how I used to what? use my money. Put doorbells. I don't know, have a cooker, you know. I, yeah. like, I used to misuse my money, but it was, it was good for me. Yeah. Um, but it was a challenge, honestly, mm -hmm. trying to interact with all these people, celebrities who are meeting and mm. trying to fit in. Yeah. It was a huge challenge. But mm -hmm. I never gave up it at any one point. I it's just hustled and hustled because I knew if mm -hmm. I started here, then that's where I want to be. Mm. Do you regret actually not doing medicine and actually going into media? <laughs> Nothing but the truth. <laughs> Can I be honest? Yes. Because yeah. I have, a, I love children. Mm. Maybe even when you look at my Instagram, you can see sometimes how I'm very passionate about kids. Okay. And what I wanted to do is have a children's home. Mm -hmm. And as a pediatrician, mm -hmm. I can have a hospital mm -hmm. where I treat these street kids like for free. I mean, have a better life for them. Oh. So it always feels like there's something I haven't done. 
But now, the other day when we were, you know, brainstorming with my managers and mm -hmm. my team, mm -hmm. we were like, you know what, you can still make that dream happen. Yeah, you don't you have to can. be a pediatrician to have true. a children's home that I'm to support kids that are yeah, on the street and whatever. True. So I still want to make it happen. And we're going to help you make that happen <laughs> oh, in any so way much. we can. Yeah. We will do it. We thank will support you. you. So we're going to take a short break and I'm going to come back with Vera and we're going to ask her more questions and get to know her better. So we'll be right back after a short break. Okay, now, ladies. Yeah. If you know you better. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need no mega 